Welcome to the Company of Women International, presenting to you today, again, the Beauty from Ashes TV program. And we have just begun to talk about things because the Holy Spirit is bringing it up to all of us. Mm -hmm. There are many things that need to be discussed, but we can't do them all. But at any rate, <laughs> rifle scutter. <laughs> and Pastor Jesse Brittingham and uh, Rita Willis and Pastor Rhonda Kruger. We have touched on the different ministries that we're involved in. We have touched on things that we're interested in doing and learning about it. But we also need to talk about some of the, the needs in doing the ministries. And as you know, it's always resources and locations and what have you, plus additional ministries. And um, Miss Rita has something that she can tell us about the, um, what was it, the shoe ministry? That's correct. You, um, you work with that, don't yeah, you, in your that church? Is, that is correct. In 2007, excuse me, 2006, God revealed to us um, that there was a need for shoes. Mm. If you can reflect back during your youth, uh, it's one thing about the first day of school, mm -hmm. it was so important to have a new pair of shoes. <laughs> But in today's economy, we find that many grandmothers are raising their children's children oh, yeah. and their children's children's children. So we, we just took it upon ourselves, the Women's Missionary Society of my church, to do a shoe ministry called mm -hmm. the New Shoes for Back to School Ministry in 2006. Great. And to make a long story short, uh, we chose Sept uh, Labor Day the day before you go back to school. Okay. And so that, after a lot of effort of, and um, soliciting help from the different communities and the shoe stores here in Richmond, mm. uh, we gave away the very first year 796 pairs of shoes. Mm. Wow. So at the end of that event, we said, wow, there is a need. Mm -hmm. So we went to our pastor and said, um, perhaps we need to open this up to the community. Mm -hmm. the church downtown city churches mm -hmm. and uh, from that we got three more churches plus ours wow. and the next year we gave away 976 mm. pairs of shoes then we opened it up again today we are 13 churches across the city of Richmond really totally we have given away 39,000 pairs of shoes Wow and um, just to drop a couple of names, Saxon Shoes yes. saw us on television one day saying that we we're running out of shoes. Okay. And they came to the rescue. And they, they are really? partners with us now. Wonderful. And this ministry has grown tremendously. Uh, Third Street Bethel, we have a, a, a large fellowship hall, but we outgrew it, mm. space. And a pastor in Southside on Midlothian, uh, excuse me, Broad Rock Road, right. Second Baptist, it used to be a grocery store. Right. He, they heard the need for more space. Mm -hmm. So we are now there. Okay. We moved the ministry from downtown to Southside, mm -hmm. uh, Broad Rock Road, Second Baptist uh, Church. Okay. And so we are now 13 churches strong. Mm -hmm. Wow. Giving away new shoes for back to school. And so God has put all of these churches together because I know there's something else coming from mm. that. Yes, yes. Right now, it's a shoe ministry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we do allow other organizations, nonprofits, because when you have those masses of persons, mm -hmm. at each point now, we're averaging giving away every year at least three to 4,000 pairs of shoes. Yes, yes, and yes. with the shoes that are left over, we send out to the different schools. Mm -hmm. Richmond, Henrico, Powhatan, as far as Dinwiddie County, mm -hmm. yes. because during the school year, stu children are still in need of shoes. Mm -hmm. And we had one grandmother, Channel 8 was interviewing her at the ministry that day of, it's always on Labor Day, and she stood in front of the camera and she cried and she said, I just didn't know what I was going to do mm -hmm. to get my children, my grandchildren's shoes. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's been a blessing for the community, yes. and um, it's just something that we know it's, it, it's, it's God led and God fed. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we are, because the ministry is now some eight years old, 
Uh, oh, we are really? we, we need help from the community again from mm -hmm. the shoe stores, different mm -hmm. shoe stores, to donate shoes of any size because it's K through twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, it's always on Labor Day. So it's a All wonderful right. ministry and uh, we invite no child is turned away. Right. Mm -hmm. One child is turned away and each gets a pair of shoes and the parent comes with them and they stand in line and we have it so organized now and after so many years that they get in and they get out. It's beautiful. Right. And we have other nonprofit organizations now partnering with us to give out information on on how to brush your teeth, mm -hmm. giving away toothbrushes, mm -hmm. health care. Mm -hmm. Right. So those ministries are coming in there yes. coming in nonprofit to to just after they get their pair of shoes to go and visit and to you know, right. to satisfy those needs. Meeting the, the, Meeting the all needs. the needs. All the needs. Of the people. That's wonderful. This is awesome. Mm. Mm. I can remember something about this when it started, but I hadn't heard anything, and I don't get the this papers. Is how it started so, downtown. very good, yeah. yeah. Isn't it wonderful? wonderful good idea, great ministry. It's a wonderful ministry. And there was something else that you're doing in your church. Yes, um, we um, we just because we are positioned where we are in the city, and it really doesn't matter where you are. Mm. It's that when God gives you the word. <laughs> or the command to do it, you just do it. Mm -hmm. We are now an official site for restoration of rights. Uh, when Tell me about that. Yes, mm -hmm. what happens is when uh, persons are um, have satisfied their, uh, pay their dues to society uh, mm -hmm. and they leave prison, mm -hmm. uh, we are an official site. We sit with them and we help them fill out their paperwork. Okay. Get it notarized. Now there are sh um, non-offensive, non-violent offenses, mm -hmm. and then there are violent offenses. That goes into a lot of details. Right. Depends on what the offense is. And we sit with them and we go with them uh, step by step in filling out their paperwork. Okay. We have officials from the governor's office. Mm -hmm. We do this every first Saturday of the month. Okay. So we get phone calls and they make appointments and we meet them there at our church. Mm -hmm. And we go through this process and we get that paperwork and we get it to the governor's office for his approval for signatures. Amen. Terrific. Beautiful. Wonderful. Yes. You head up all these mission things? Well, I help. <laughs> you help. The Women's Missionary Society, but the church in general, because, because of who we are and we know that we we have to go beyond the walls. I heard mm. you say earlier, Amen. the walls are not yes. there. They're physically there, but they're, they're not, not there. there. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And there is a need in the community. Yes. So um, the missionary society have taken a, taken, um, a lot of this on. And uh, You have seen the need. You've we see the it's need. been yes. before your That's eyes, right. and now you're determined right. to do something That's about right. it. That's, That's right. right. Oh, good for you, girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Glory goes to God. Yeah. Amen. Absolutely, it's, always. It's kingdom building. Yeah, that's it's right. kingdom. That's right. That's, right. that's, kingdom that's kingdom what building. it is, and that's sure what we're talking is. about, right? Yes. Yes. That's right. Yes. Kingdom sure. Like kingdom come. Well, the Lord showed me a picture. Kingdom is will action. be done. Yes. He'll meet all the needs. Yes. yes. Pastor Jesse. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about some of your kingdom projects and so <laughs> forth, because you're... You're meeting all the time with somebody or doing something. Yes. Thanks. Thank the Lord. Uh, we are, we work with a lot of youth. Uh, we work with a Guiding Life Youth Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, kids from various walks of life are there. And um, I'm a mentor there. So okay. we've been really working with them to help them to get on the right path. Right. Some, uh, some of them are so young and it's like they don't know where they fit in. I imagine. And so I often tell them, you're a misfit. <laughs> you don't fit into the world system. Right. The schemes of the world. And then I begin to tell them about my story, because like I think you were saying, everybody has a story. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. so right now we got a voca vacation Bible school, and it's been awesome. The city has stepped in, mm -hmm. and they've sponsored uh, our breakfast and lunch for the kids. Wow. So that hasn't, that's been a blessing right there. I didn't know that they did this. Oh yes, the park yeah. system does it. And it's a beautiful lady there by the name of LaShawn Robson. Mm -hmm. And she, I have to give her the credit, she has extended her hand beyond measure. I mean, she'll go out of her way, as long as you follow the rules and the guidelines, mm -hmm. to help you in any way that she can. Great. So, you know, we've been blessed that uh, our f last few programs, people have really poured in. Yes. 
Uh, they see what we're doing. We're a new church. We've basically been there, like I said, about 15 months. But they see how we move, like you were saying, mm -hmm. while I go from glory to glory. When we started out, we didn't have our chairs. We got new chairs now. Uh, we didn't have a dining room. We got a dining room. We didn't have transportation. We got transportation. Giving away uh, buses. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, mm -hmm. we, we now got our 501C where we can uh, bring programs in and write grants for the government to fund it. But it's always good to have the community's hand. I mean, anything that they can donate or anything that they can help us with, we, 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 we will gladly accept it. Well, I think part of that is the fact that you have reached out to the community and you're letting them know what you're doing. Yeah. And for those that are not doing something, most of the time it's a lack of knowledge. Right. That's true. That's so true. And you know, so many times, uh, it's like you're saying, it is a lack of knowledge because people will come by and we get food out too. And they'll come by and they'll ask for steaks. And we have to tell them that we don't have steaks. This is a compliment meal until, you know, you can get some more help. So mm -hmm. you, you, you deal with so many v variety of people and all walks and so the, their understanding is a lot of times not there right so right. and sometimes you can explain it to them and sometimes they don't want to hear it that's true and so the ones that don't want to hear it, we just pray for them and we just <laughs> <move> <laughs> send them on their way <laughs> send them on their way but i'm proud of uh my church members uh they've been there my sister She's a principal of a school. She's really poured into the ministry. Tabitha Johnson, um, Marinda, Jay, all of those people. And for, for various churches, right. they have really poured in to help. And I, I got to go back to what he's saying. When the glory is there, you'll go, you'll see yourself moving. Mm -hmm. You know, just like I told so many people, the church that we're moving in, I said, God, if we're not going to be able to do what we need to do out there, don't allow us to have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, when the cloud lifts, we'll move. Yeah. But if the cloud don't lift, you we're going to stay there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I'm with you on that. Uh, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But I'm thankful for that. Right. Mm -hmm. I would be too. Yes, ma'am. A lot of people, when we first started, they didn't think we was going to be there a year because it was rough. You know, it was times it was like, Lord, how are we going to do this? I know it. You know, Lord, how we need this, and we don't have the money. And people were talking, shut the doors down. If you can't afford it, shut the doors down. And, mm -hmm. you know, we just kept, because my father in the gospel told me, he said, the best success for your ministry is to sow and reap. So, 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 so. So we began to do that. And, and God saw. just, mm -hmm. I mean, we looked, donations were coming in, and we were like, it just blew us away. Mm -hmm. You know, now, you know, it's mm -hmm. like God, our faith was being tested. Yeah. You know, and, and I learned. But that's what scripture has taught from the very beginning, mm -hmm. sowing. Yes. And we were, when I, like I said, when we first started, we would have fish fries and nothing wrong with those. But when we begin to sow, God mm -hmm. began to move. Yes. Yeah, right. God moved on that right yeah. there. Yeah. And I mean, I would go to the, our computer and I'd look and people had sent thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. We didn't even have a bank account <laughs> for almost a year. When people came to preach, we gave them money. Mm -hmm. you know, but then we got a bank account and pe got, people began to pour in and our offerings and tithes and God has really yes. worked like... Tell me how you started sewing and you got your church to do it because you didn't have all that many people. No. But you all learned at one time sewing and, and reaping. Well, at the time I was working and uh, people would call me to come preach. And I would say 90% of the money that I got, I just gave it back. I began to sew in other ministries. I would go to different ministries and I would sew. You know, because I said, I was saying, if I'm going down, if this ministry is going down, mm -hmm. it's going down on the principles of God. Mm -hmm. And I know that when everything doesn't work for everybody, but the principles of God yes. works for everybody. Yes. And so when I got, because the rich are rich because of the principles of the Bible. That's right. And they got it down pat. <laughs> more than the church do. Mm -hmm. You know, if the church can understand the principles then we we go along much further than where we are now. But 
we really don't understand that sowing and reaping blesses your family, mm -hmm. blesses you, yes. blesses your home, blesses your business. It blesses everything, everything. that you touch. So when we learned that, we, 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 we took off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he will make you a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what he's done. So easy to see these things in the natural realm. <coughs> mm -hmm. Now you can talk to a six-year-old child. How do you get a flower when you've got to plant a seed? It's not difficult mm -hmm. to understand. If you don't sow that seed, there's no flower coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. But now when you put that into the spiritual realm, how are you going to get? Uh, in the name of Jesus, God, do this. God, mm -hmm. you know, but there's a law. Sowing and reaping. Yes. That's, that's how law. it works. And you yes. can't, the, can't change a law. So many times we understand the natural realm more than we do the spiritual realm. Right. Do you talk to your um, youth up there at the, the prison in, about this and, and the lessons that you're giving? Uh, definitely. I mean, that's a, you know, try and put as, as much spiritual truth and spiritual law in the mm -hmm. lesson as well. So on the one hand, you want to, well, the, the program that, that we're doing is, as I said, renewing the mind. Mm -hmm. But renewing it to what? Right. To mm -hmm. the Word of God. So the time that you sow even in the Word, that's giving your time, giving your efforts, mm -hmm. that's a seed that you sow. That's right. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So I've got just some by crops spending coming out. time <laughs> in the Word, you're yes. sowing into that, and what will you reap? You will reap that. So each and every one of us, I say, sitting here is because we sowed something wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the harvest that we're getting now. Mm -hmm. You know? And the bad thing about it is not what, well, especially the guys in the youth, especially those guys, not one 14, 15, 16 year old boy wakes up one morning and says, well, you know, today I'm just going to take a gun and try and rob someone. I've got nothing better to do. That's what I, no one wakes up just thinking about something like that. No, no, They've no. seen it somewhere. Yes. They've heard it. It's That's in right. their heart. Jesus yeah. said, guard your heart. Proverbs yes. 4, 22, 23, because right, 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 out right. of it come the issues of life. So those guys didn't wake up one morning saying, mm -hmm. oh, let me try this. No, it's in them. Mm -hmm. And now what's in you is going to come, come out. out. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus says, make the fruit good. Even if there's bad fruit right now, we can change that. Yes. We're not like animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can't change their ways. They go by instinct. But the word can change the, the word can yes. change, but you have to get what is on the inside yes. of you which is wrong, get it out. Right. You spoke about that the previous time. Jesus mm -hmm. said that which is not of God must be rooted mm -hmm. out. Don't just mm -hmm. chop it off there. Right. Right. Completely get it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. So sow time into this. This is That's seed. Right. Yes. It's not a book, it's a bag of seed. That's what it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you take this seed and <laughs> sow it and sow it, you will reap. The right. seed. That's right. You can't change a spiritual law. That's just That's the right. way it That's is. That's the way it is. So we do speak about that. But praise God, you can change whatever is bad and you can replace right. it with mm -hmm. what is good. That's right. Jesus said, if the fruit is bad, change it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've all done mistake. We've all done something wrong. But praise God for repentance and we can rip that stuff out and replace Amen. it with the word of God, kingdom words, whatever you want to name mm -hmm. it. And yes. start walking in your Ephesians 10, uh, 2 verse 10. Part, That's right. That God has planned for each and human that was born on this face of the earth. There's a perfect path for you. Now you may be sitting there thinking that's impossible. You don't know my life. You don't know my family. But God is greater than that. The word says that for God nothing is impossible. And all he wants is faith that he's a good God. And he has a plan for us. And he will help us. If we obey the word. And yeah. we trust him. Yes. That's right. Uh, trust his right. goodness. So, yes, we do speak about sowing and reaping when we speak to the youngsters. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Rhonda, I want you to come forth with some of your uh, experiences. Because we're going to talk about some of the miracles that God is doing. Mm -hmm. In her <coughs> patience. And mm -hmm. the word is changing them. It's just mm -hmm. like you speaking to them. Well, so. we, we had a miracle happen, um, that was the night you were down mm -hmm. there, um, that the testimony came forward, but we had a, a man that, um, we do this study in this community, and so there's, all, most of them had formerly been homeless, a lot of them, but now they're in housing, and um, 
but lots of hard, hard journeys like we've been talking about. But we had a gentleman that he would come meet us at the door, but he would never come in the study. But he would, you know, he was testing, he's been testing us out for a year and a half. <laughs> but he would always come, we'd hug him, we'd help with the food. We don't connect our food with our Bible study. It's not about them coming to study, it's about helping. We know they have needs. Mm -hmm. They live on $600 a month, 30% is their income. They're choosing between medicine and food by the third of the month. Mm -hmm. So we just give food. We don't. It's not, now that's a separate uh, night from the time that you Yeah, we the do Bible that on the study. third. And so we let the director of the building handle that so that people can sign up and it's not connected so mm -hmm. they don't feel like we're, you know. Obligated. Yeah, so, so it's just let the Lord bring them if they're to come. And so anyway, we had a, a gentleman that um, one particular night he came into the study and he would only come for like 10 minutes, but this particular night he came in for the entire time. And um, he, everyone knew in the building that he was very sick with cancer. It was like mm -hmm. stage um, four or five, very progressive. And um, anyway, he came in and he asked, would we pray for him at the end? So I had the whole study get up and we laid hands on him. And so for the next several months, uh, he started his treatment. He was going through that. And he was very, very sick. He didn't come mm -hmm. down. Um, he was in the hospital some, and me and my husband would go up after the study every time and pray for him. He would send someone to ask us to come. And, um, I mean, he, it, it was a, he looked really, it was bad. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we went down there two Mondays ago, and he walked in the room, and he had their, the cancer's gone. And he, mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, if you saw the man Please, where I saw him and you saw him now, you would be like, I mean, you could tell he had an encounter with the living God. I mean, there's just no other way to explain the transformation. And so he came uh -huh. in and he, he told my husband that, um, that the doctor said it's gone, that the cancer's gone. You know, it's just who Jesus would heal. <laughs> I mean, and so, uh, so he's given a testimony, but he got up and he, he was Catholic. And so he's been going down to his church now <laughs> on Sundays and, um, and so it's it's a major transfer. He I don't even think he can grasp what's happened to him <laughs> completely, mm. but um, he knows God's healed him, and he gave the Lord all the glory. And he just said, "I asked God to come in my heart." That was mm. as simple as it Praise was. The Lord. He said, "While well, I was sick, I just kept asking, and then the church people prayed for me." Mm. And um, so he knows he knows who mm. healed him, and. Mm -hmm. um, so he's coming along. Amen. And there was one before him when you first started out, the, the man that had the problem with his legs. That's the, the whole way and the ministry I, was birthed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I went there the night that he met you, was giving you all his medical mm -hmm. provisions. All his uh, dressings. He doesn't have to go right. back to the wound That's doctor. Beautiful. He had unstageable <laughs> wounds on his legs. Literally, his, it was gone. Everything was gone. His toes were completely off. Um, just hanging by one thread and um, he this is how the, the ministry got birth he came God had given me a vision for this ministry in two, 2006 and it just got birth you know a year ago six years later seven years later but um, it, this is the way he birthed it I was working in a facility and this man came in mm -hmm. and he had this unstageable um, wounds but anyway through the process we began praying for him and God healed his legs and he was so healed that he could walk and he could get out of the skilled center and so they placed him in this place mm -hmm. and that he kept catching a cab to come eat lunch with me and I said this is backwards so I stumbled into God and went down and started a Bible study mm -hmm. and that's how it happened and he had one area that wasn't healed and we prayed for him and he's completely healed and so for one year and a half the doctors can't they wanted to take his mm -hmm. legs off he refused, and for one year and a half, his legs have been completely healed. Wound Amen. care done, completely done, and walking, you know, uh, can stand on him, and he's functioning in the independent apartment, and God healed and him. I saw Amen. this man when he was giving her all his medical equipment. Mm -hmm. We've run the clock down, yeah. and mm. that thing goes too fast. I know. It's funny. Yes, it does. Uh, Rifle, I'm going to call on you, if you will, <laughs> just sure. say a closing prayer for us. Yeah. Father, we thank you that we could spend this time together once again around your word. Thank you that your word is alive, it's powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, Lord. We just come 
by the blood of Jesus, which was yes. poured out for each and every one of us, Lord. We lift up every person that is watching this program. And we just thank you, Lord, that they could be hearing the word with us right now because your word says that when we hear the word, faith comes. Yes. So by faith, we agree that you're a good God, that you have a plan for us, that you're not angry, not out to get us, but you're out to bless us. Yes. You are good, Lord. Mm. You're always good and you never yes. change. Your word says that every good and perfect gift comes from you so we receive that as from you father and we just pray that if there's someone watching now and they haven't mm. made jesus yes. the lord of their life that they would sit there and hear about the goodness of everything that god has done for somebody mm. else jesus. but knowing that god wants to do that for you yes. personally Amen. if you were the only person on the earth jesus would still go to mm. the cross for you as mm. difficult as that is to believe mm. yes that's how worthy you are mm. that's why you are here right now God doesn't make mistakes and That's He right. made you. So just open your heart. The Word says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that He will be your Master and your Lord and you will spend eternity with Him. Mm. So we thank You for that, Lord. We lay down our lives. It's a privilege and an honor so that we may serve You and serve our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. We bless You and we thank You for this time. And what we ask, we do so in the name of Jesus yes. Christ with thanksgiving and faith towards you in Jesus name. Amen. 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 This is wonderful. Mm. I just appreciate so much the fact that you all have been with me and have shared all these many things with us today because it's just exactly what we have a need to hear. And many people can learn as as they have listened to you what they might be able to do and if not, they can, there's a phone number. They can always contact us and we can put, him, put them in touch with you. Um, and don't be surprised if I ask you to come back and talk some more. Mm -hmm. Or if you have something else that's going on that I don't know about, <laughs> get in touch with me so that we can talk about it. Because the whole principle behind this is to let the community know what God is doing in our midst. It's not us but we are reporting on His activity. That's right. And when His power begins to move and His anointing is there in others, it is encouraging to them. And particularly in the stage that this world is right now, mm. that everything is going to hell in a handbasket and we don't want to go there. So we just want to say, we'll join up and praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for watching us. We'll see you next time. Yeah.